Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Velcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. You know, hurry up. Get out. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. You can't... With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. I just raided this place. Here we back. are. My sister should be just inside. In we go. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel pigs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. Just witness some domestics. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. May I say Not your uh, outfit is... An interesting choice. You choose to wear a skirt or and show off your ass? What is going on here? <laughs> Alright. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Goodbye, next time. I want to learn it so bad. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. Oh, I do miss Hogwarts. 
But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Dude, Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. What the hell I wish you well. Right I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Rebellion. Can you not say? I must have a blue jewel. Can you have a look, buddy? Silver spectacles. How are you holding Why up? Why will she not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Okay. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All right. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at the Cabanon estate. They've been digging for something. Digging. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Okay, interesting little... Thing. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Accio. Oh. 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 Why don't you come up here and your last mistake are you sure you're not a muggle okay <laughs> Oh. 
I confess. That was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. You tried to warn me. I did all the bloody work, bro. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She mm -hmm. came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My yeah. thoughts what exactly. Were they trying? It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Hell yeah, brother. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. Rebellion! They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? It's been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. Mm -hmm. That's all I ever heard. Don't mind me, let me just loot gobble and everything. Get under. Don't know how what I need to. How do I get in there? Rebellion. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Hmm? It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Which house? Rebellion! Like up here. Yes. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Oh. Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. It's the vision when they changed this place. I know where we are. Signs of an ancient magic. That will be what it is. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Rebellion! Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor. Hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, 
I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Hell yeah, bro. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Why bother blocking a stairwell? <laughs> there might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. And then I log the hell. <sighs> My different struggles are around. It's as though it's magic wants to heal, and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forget it? Regret not having done more. I cannot look into the eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache I saw. The man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father, surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fruit. What's your consequence of doing something good with this ability? Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. It's my sick in the camp, more arrive each day. Muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is pal palpable. Palpable. One of the ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by the loss of fever. May pass. The skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. So a man much like my father who had a lost child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of revenue from beginning to death. But the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems that but you're not to help them as it would rid as it would be to rid them of their torment. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Revelio. It's Explore the cell. I've explored the cell. What house do I explore? Here we go. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. Right. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Let's enter the undercroft. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. It's not so secret after all.
Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Was this a spell? Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very yeah. well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. That's true. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no mm -hmm. idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Julian, brother. Oh, talent. Let's go. Gimme, gimme. I can't do any more dark arts. Jingle spell. Additional glass. Slice through impact and use to strike it. Additional targets. Impacts produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. That one's pretty cool. Frozen blast shards. This thing just slams the damage and shockwave. We'll do that one. Okay, that's pretty cool. Got that mask, dude. Let's go. Magic one, get trait trait recipe. Ooh. Upgrade your gear ten times. Let's get twenty beasts. Not bad, good size. I kind of want to put that mask on. It's got a little saddle on it. I still like this one the most. Actually, no, I kind of like that one the most. It's kind of by Yaris. Yes. The High Keep. Reach level 70, you must learn. You can go from Liviosa. Wait, start this course. Where is this venomous tentacula? I mean, I could probably find it. I don't really care about the collection too much. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. 
Okay. Ooh, those gloves. Decrease damage taken from spiders. Oh, they look so much the same. <laughs> I don't remember what the other one I got was. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I do have three. This trait is too powerful. Significantly increased damage to both crew seal. Significantly increased damage with pitch boost. Oh, so they're not that helpful though. But I will put. Oh, ancient magic increase. Damage manager at pitch bias. I'll stick with it soon anyway. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, I need to get the Tiskins. Species limits reach. Turns a wild. Really? I need Sell Beast at Broad and Pick to open space for the species. You got too many birds. Oh, nice. I don't know, I could loot my own area. What even 
How big is this area? I can't even tell how big it is. But decently big. What up here? For an, uh, go to explore a chest. I've got some stairs. Hurry up, anybody. Let me put you. Fruit of Feathers. Inklings, you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Okay. Nephla fur and a toad wall. I can upgrade that one though. Everything for now. Hogs need uh where's the animal one I can sell? Spoon sporting good shop. Wand clothing salon. Supply, that's what I want. That's what I like. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Damn straight, brother. Spawn, I never got. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dory Call feather, it doesn't half hurt. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have them here. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon calf fur? Derrickal feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derrickals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. Seems like a poor choice of inventory. Surely that's obvious. You don't mind sharing your opinions, do you? Despite the fact that we are a wizarding village, doesn't mean these things appear by magic. Takes a lot to round up these feathers. Don't get me started on thwoppers. Most of the suppliers of Thwopper Feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Perhaps it was your dealings with Thwoppers that led you to the precarious idea of stocking Diracles. Oh, you are well and cheeky, aren't you? Uh, don't worry, sure. I don't mind. Never had a still tongue in my head either. 
And I'll have you know that it's my highest priority to ensure that all beasts are safe and well cared for. Right thing to do and good for business. Anyway, perhaps you should have a look around. Stocks change all the time and not just because they disappear. <laughs> Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. <laughs> what do you have for sale? <laughs> now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. What are you? Dairy crawl. Chain views can be interacted with. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Why did you say there's two things to talk to? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider right. yourself welcome. Can I upgrade? Is that not possible? Guess not. Speak with Sebastian. Should we find out what that's about? Uh, the butterflies keys spring trial head into bother tree corridor ah uh, well there was so many class bang 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 astronometry Nice to see you, my young friend. Thank you. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. An adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Nice. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. God, am I with the other see pixels now I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class is that clear but professor it's freezing out 
Leopold didn't stop the That's great the guy I want to of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? Mm -hmm. I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Shaw. Sure. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think not. I have some uh, reading to finish on the Lord. Okay, don't really hear the thanks. Wait. Find them at telescope in the storage. Oh shit, we're meant to go up. Nope. How do I get to there? Oh. From here. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Pristine night for stargazing. Do Professor Shaw, I'm in. It is increasingly rare to find a student. I'm but not if really. you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, we ourselves are not unlike. No. Thank you for your insights. I'm out. I'm I am out. glad to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care. The perfect me. night for. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. Would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunar scope, <laughs> but there is um something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself, and it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But are you in? No uh, one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I don't I'll show you option, how to use though. that telescope once we get there. I promise. I can't deny it, dude. All right. I suppose I can go with you. I hope it's worth it. It will be. Trust me. I have read practically everything there is to read about this. It should be brilliant. Uh -huh. Shall we? Ah, uh, dude, I have to do this. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Okay. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the glass from now and then. Confringo! It's not that creepy out here. Here I am, charging ahead. So why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Okay, yay. I see. <sighs> A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as 
tidy as I expected. I could bring up more cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Uh, we're oh, no, fine, mate. not this close to school. I mean, I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. I might try and use this on ready table. Oh. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. There we go. Why don't you just make things up now, dude? I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Nice. Whatever you say, Amit. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about oh, my not. old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. Yes, sorry, I'm Peters. practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Lady Wet. I'm good, man. Incredible. Ain't nobody wanna deal with you, bro. Okay, I have to do this one. The venomous tinkler. Where the hell do I acquire one of those? It would be a shop. I know I could find a shop. It would be not a potion shop, not a clothing shop, not a bee supply, seeds, fertilizer. Maybe that. Maybe. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe in class. Maybe not. Hogweed, here I come. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Uh, don't know if I can be bothered. Greetings! Please, take your time looking about. I do need mellow suit. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Yeah, there's a price increase in the yield. Black sweet seed. Not grass, mellow sweets. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll give you another. I don't know what I'm selling, so. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Rebellion. Pleasant surprise. Bro, you just saw me very relax. Maybe I can only find it in Hogwarts over here. One hand will.
Mm. Hints of something. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay. Rebellion. Um. Uh, how do I get this freaking item, dude? The venomous tentacle. Rebellion. Oops, there's right here. Oh, just right here? Sure. I was meant to click space, I click mouse. Easy. Nice, I got another house token. Rebellion. The other one is up there. I can't be bothered trying to figure that out. I just do the long way. Let's jump off, buddy. Alright, not that one. I'll get it eventually. Process of elimination. My oh, yeah, archway. A neck item. Not bad. Where can I acquire this mandrake though? Well, not, not, not the mandrake, the venomous thing that you got. A warehouse where I acquire that. Like a random. A random shop? Maybe. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Just a level one lock. It is. Hello, Homura. Easy. Every 
Every time I get lots of food. Cell. Hello. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What, do what you can have? I help you with today? I nothing I need, man. I'll get rid of these green ones. Aren't you the student who ran all those goblin loyalists off? I can't tell you what a relief that was to everyone in Lower Hogsfield. Sure, man. I hope to see you again sometime. Uh, not here. Where's the next shop I can go to? Guess I could try this one. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Where am I? I want to go here. Balloons, I'll pop that. Who lives here? Hello. Yes, but just the one, I'm afraid. Uh, running the shop. Any, Any whispers of anything? There's a rampant dug bog on the loose. It's more aggressive than others and has something. It's making life miserable in pity. Yeah. What do you have for sale? Do you know what you might be looking for? Oh, you'll like that. I guarantee it. Thanks. Thank you for your business. Hope you'll come and see me again. Rebellion. Yeah, you don't have what I want, though. Strip and door remote, dude. Confrigo, Expelliarmus, Defender. Let me Okay, I'm stuck on little rocks, bro. Levioso, Expelliarmus, Confringo, Defender. I 
the wrong spells. Spell them. <clears throat> How do we get in here? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. Where's the door, bruh? Oh, yeah, can I get into it? That's annoying. Nice decoration. I don't know where this venomous tusk girl is. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Straight. That's that. Settled. Oh, that was so easy. Out of a storybook. Confringo, Expelliarmus, Defendo, Levioso, Incendio, Descendo, Capulso, Confringo, Expelliarmus. Wasn't there anyone like did aggro's on it? Off on another adventure, are we? Stupid. Aloha Mora. Aloha. Aloha Mora. It's kind of ugly. That's all this place had. That's so bad. <sighs> Kitty. Hello, Hamora. Hello, Hamora. Hello, Too much about that. 
That's all there was to have done. What place will have this thing I'm after, bro? I don't know, eh? I have to learn this move. I don't know how to learn this move. Three broomsticks. <sighs> Where do I go? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmead? Back from your latest rebellion. I want to hear all the particulars. I don't really want to talk to you. Brilliant! It rides well. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. 